beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. We are set here inside the Pearl at the Palms for a great night of fights. This is UFC Fight Night Live. Hi again, everybody. I'm Mike Goldberg. Welcome once again to the Ultimate Fighting Championship. We have an incredible night of fights in store for you this evening, highlighted by a main event everyone is talking about. With me for the fights tonight again, my partner Joe Rogan. Joe, the fans are pumped up. Oh, yeah, and they should be, Mike. Looking at this fight on paper, it's very tough to call. I mean, they're both extremely well-rounded and in the best shape that we've ever seen them in. This is one of those matchups where anything can happen. Well, we will soon find out who will prevail in our main event of the evening. But before we officially get the night started, let's take a quick look at the rules of the octagon. Three judges will score the bout, the bout duration three five-minute rounds. There are no championship fights on the card tonight. A 10-point must scoring system is in effect, with the round winner gaining 10 points, his opponent nine or less, based on effective striking, grappling, aggression, and octagon control. night with a middleweight matchup between Yoshihiro Akiyama and Jason Mayhem Miller. A complete mixed martial artist, Jason Miller has fought all around the world against some of the best in the sport. With the majority of his wins coming by way of tap out, Mayhem may be looking to add a submission of the night award to his resume here tonight. An all-Asian and all-Japan judo champion, Yoshihiro Akiyama possesses beautiful and deadly martial arts techniques in the clinch. Combine that with accomplished submission skills and heavy hands, and you have an opponent who can end a fight from anywhere. Tale of the Tape is brought to you by Tap Out, an expression of combat known worldwide, now available at tapout.com. We are now set for the official introductions, and with that, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, we are live from the Pearl at the Palms Casino Resort in Las Vegas. And now, it's time to begin our first bout of the evening. Three rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter. He stands six feet, one inch tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Huntington Beach, California. Jason Mayhem Miller. And now, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a judo fighter. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Osaka, Japan. Yoshihiro Akiyama! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Kevin Mohal. Kevin Mohal, our referee. Mike Goldberg, Joe Rogan, set for the start of round number one. Okay, Jason ready? Miller, Yoshihiro Akiyama. Hello, we good? How are we? So, Akiyama's coming off a loss, but against a light heavyweight. Now, Kazuhiro Nakamura, so we'll see how he does here against the tough Jason Miller, who also lost his last fight, so this is... Um, at least I think he did. This is one of the. This is this is a yeah important match of both fighters. Hey, uh, hey, Dos, how you doing, man? Dude, that yeah, I saw the main event. That was uh, like someone said on the Reddit thread. Bellator gonna do Bellator things. Oh, double chop! Didn't know he had that. 
gets up. Nice to the body there for Miller. Ooh, gets the head movement going, but gets caught. Unless your name is Mickwid, you can't just throw... You can't just flick your head about, because you will get caught. By, you know, world-class fires. Oh, Judo Toss gets reversed. And he gets his back. Let's see if he can get out. He does. Well, back to side control. Backsider now. Half guard. Full guard for Akiyama. Let's see if he's able to push him off. Nope, gets reversed. Miller with some ground and pound. See if he tries to move to mount. Bit of ground and pound. Well, what's wrong with it? No, no notification. Oh. Oh. Yeah. He did, yeah. Also, um, I, if, I, 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 I've, uh, YouTube seems to send notifications periodically if you don't have, like, to get full notifications, I think you have to click the bell or something. Or, like, there's an option on the bell that says, like, get full notifications or something. Or, no, I think it's if you subscribe, you get, um, you get occasional ones, and if you click the bell, you get, um, you get full notifications, so. Oh, hmm, well, YouTube being YouTube, yeah. Well, this is the first fight, so. Yeah, Mayhem, the grapple fight guy. Remember when he showed up like 24 pounds over for that Venator event? Man took his trunks off thinking it would say, like, make way, I mean. Mayhem gonna mayhem. Oh, nice left hook. That's the end of the first round. As, if anyone uses Dark Moon on YouTube, has it, got, has it become slightly lighter for you? It's got a slight, it's got a more grey hue to it now. Lighter grey hue to it for me now. Not on my channel, but on videos. It's, it's weird. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. I wish it would work for... You know, more, 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 more consistently, but look here is this slip right into a counter, and here was that particular counter attack. Incoming strike, and then bro, and here's another it's meant to be a reveal. Dodge the incoming attack, spot the ah, there's a reason I sent you an unlisted video. <sighs> Never mind. Second round, fight schedule for three five-minute rounds. Oh, beautiful hook! Goodbye. Hey, sir, hey, super. Oh, high kick from Akiyama. Oh, get some of the left hook now. The push kick from... I almost hit the push kick from Bellator. The push kick from Mayhem. Rip to the body. I know there's an... I know... Ed Ensign in your ways, <laughs> Ed Senpaisha. Dude, imagine him with fucking savage kicks. Oh shit. Why did I say that? I think it was because the idea of fucking Paisha throwing heat with those kicks. Also because of ground and pound. Yeah, he did get cut. I haven't actually formally announced it yet, but I don't think he deserves it. Nah, I will announce it, but I was going to put it in the ranking report. Ranking. The rankings, but. Oh. Shugs, shrugs him off. But again, Akiyama gets his back. So if he's able to throw him or mayhem rather reverse it or gets out. Working in the clinch, trying to control his opponent. Will he get it this time? No. They break. Oh, Superman punch. And a left hook to follow it up. <laughs> yeah, Bellator invented the bush kick. Nice duck. Oh. Mayhem packs power, man. Oh, high kick from Akiyama. Sets that up nice and then gets shoots in. Gets the back. He is, yeah. The description has the full card. Oh. Just touches him with that high kick. Goes for it again. I like the low kick animation from uh, Mayhem. Nice jab. Chopping hook. 
Okay, I'm cutting that cage off. Sometimes shorter, quicker oh, are the little combo there. They might not have as much nice, power rip to the body. But the most important thing is that they land. When a fighter winds up with big bombs... Oh, jab and then the other cut. Beautiful from Akiyama. He shoots in after the other cut, but gets shrugged off. Oh, and gets for it again. Gets his back. Let's see if we can get him this time. Can he, can he take him down? Mayhem reverses against double unders. Oh. Throw gets reversed. Nice, uh, nice idea though. Oh, uh, top mount. Big shots. Akiyama survives. Silly negotiations, but things move closer every day. Fear not. Dude, how cool would it be if you could, like, in event mode, like, have certain times where they cut to the camera and you can select the fighter they cut to? Wouldn't that be cool? Uh, I don't know. I know there was fucking Li Jing Liang trying to poke the shit out of Jake Matthews' eyes. Let's take a look at the replay of some of the action here, Mike. This was that counter. Such unbelievable oh. timing on that. And this was that nice counter. Just perfect movement here. And here you Paul can Harris, see uh, very well timed counter. Surprise me. Out, back in, Paul Harris. Uh, Paul Harris is fucking gold, he called him. The beautiful Brittany gets us set for round three. You might as well just make a rake called the Paul Harris or the fucking the Li Jing Liang. The leech rake. Third and final round. Oh, sprint towards him with the knee. Gets blocked there. Oof. Yeah, I imagine eye pokes in MMA would be really painful. Especially with the momentum involved as well. I mean, I caught myself on the eye with my knuckle like a few few months ago. And holy shit, it hurt. Like, I couldn't open my eye for like a good few minutes. It was fine, but it just, you know, it took some time. <laughs> Paul Harris is um, jacked to shit. But yeah, he's obviously on gear. You know, he's... For, yeah, that was in Fight Night Round 4. Oh, I like that jab from Akiyama. Just putting it out there. Softening the face up of uh, Shields. Oh, nice. That jab high kick animation. Oh, but Akiyama's down. Miller gets on top. Running down some ground and pound. This is dangerous. Is it? Oh, he survives. I thought that might have been it for a second. Big shots from ground from side mount. Akiyama reverses that butterfly. Ooh, the Miller reverses him. He sprawls. Oh, not a bad idea. I like it. Oh, nice! Beautiful sway hook and then the shot. Over under. Oh, tries to get the throw, but still not able to. Let's see if he can get it this time. He goes for it. Ah, no, he still doesn't get it. Miller would do a great job reversing. But he blocks that hook. Let's see what he does from here, Joe. Nice reversal. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. I wonder. It would uh I feel like online it would be a bit of a tr a bit of a problem with people just wanting to skip and stuff. Pushing his opponent away. Although I'd like the option to have it on, like for like uh, leagues or something, or, or simulate, or you know. Uh... Oh, beautiful right straight from Mayhem Miller. Knocks Akiyama out cold. Out of nowhere, times the high kick, and it's over. Take a look at this. Akiyama goes for the jab and the high kick, but bang! Gets caught. Yeah, he went for that jab and high kick, and uh, jab and high kick, and Miller just caught him as he went for that, and then drops him with the fuck out, or drops the H bomb on him. Oh, that was brutal. That'd be real cool. Dude, the day they get like to have like high quality, authentic sounding like uh, generated audio uh, for any like for like tons of the um, the fighters and the uh, you know Joe Rogan and whatnot, it'd be crazy. You can straight up have like 
tons of interviews. So does Rick. You know, it would be cool. Cool. I'll check it out. That would be cool. <laughs> he would rip the uh, the mic off. That was a good fight. That was a good first fight. Next up, we have Chris Lieben versus Kennel Grove. So it's a bit of a, uh, a throwback to the early 2000s. I'll say early to the mid 2000s. We'll see how those two get on. Yeah, we'll see about. I, I um, I mean. Honestly, I'm not expecting much from UFC 4. I, I guess it's, I, I, I'm kind of not expecting much because I don't think there'll be a ton of change besides the grappling. And also, I also, I mean, it's nice. It's probably good that I don't, uh, don't get too hyped. I was way too hyped for UFC 3 and it were. Hmm. Don't know what happened there. Shweddy balls, Lewis. Oh, so yeah. My balls was hot. Dude, that shit was incredible live. Kendall Grove has so, like, such shit attributes. It's, like, he has okay stats. Um, you know, like, in terms of um, striking. I don't know, Bayer. The notifications have been a bit broken today, apparently. They they seem to be. Uh, Stockton BJJ? Okay. But, for what it's worth, this is only the second fight, don't worry. Uh, but hit dude, he has like 65, 62 strength, 65 cardio. It's, it's, yeah. So we have a brawler versus a pretty well-rounded fire. You know, good striker, good in the clinch, good grappler. Mostly jiu-jitsu rather than wrestling, but he can put it on you. But not exactly gifted with the power. So we'll see. Lieben definitely has the advantage there. But, you know. Grove has good technique. Look at this. Tie clinch from Lieben. But Grove pummels. And, oh, and the whip. Knee straight to the face. That whip animation is beautiful. It's so so powerful too. It's hard to get off. But when you get it off, it's really satisfying. Nice double unders. See if he throws... Oh, no. Go shoot to the takedown. Look at this. Lieben. Gets him down. Back to his feet is Grove, though. Gonna see some dirty boxing here. Potentially. No. Ooh, nice double under reversal. See if he throws him. Got body lock. Grove trying to push him off. Again, he shoots. This is that grinding style that Lieben will employ often if it's not, you know, going straight toe-to-toe -to -toe in a brawl. Nice little uh, pass there. Grove not able to get back up. Tries to go for the guillotine, but... Oh, nice reversal, though, now in full guard. But, again, gets reversed. And then Grove reverses him. Yeah, it, it's quite cool. Oh, oh, he, he shots. Lieben has some heavy ground about. I think he's doing okay, yeah. Sprawl. And back to full guard. Now into side control. He ate that one. Half guard. Now side back control side for Lieben. Control. He's got half guard. Oh, gets reversed. Oh, reversed. Oh, wonderful seat. Yeah, another reversal. Oh, Kimura. Kimura. Oh, that's not. That's. that's that's a big window, but just not able to lock it in. Ground and pound from Lieben here. Oh, he rocks him. Knees to the body and then punches to the head. This is big. It's crazy that Artem Lobov will people be poorly malinology in a boxing match. Admittedly. Um, ah, yes. I forgot to turn it back on. My apologies. Um, I, t I knew I would forget. I turned it off because I was playing Karima and I forgot to turn it back on. My bad. Um, I'll turn it on in a minute. Yeah, it's a bit of a bare knuckle, but still, he beat him. You're looking perfect. Let's take a look at the replay, Mike. Here we see some beautiful submission defense to get out of that. And this is that ground and pound, pure domination right there. 
It definitely helps that he was part of, you know, he, he used to be with Connor and everything. But he still is. But you know what I mean? It's, uh, it's yeah, his hard work and everything. It's, it's crazy. But Bert Knuckle has given him, a, given him a, a new lease on his combat sports life, so to speak. I had to have Mario as the ref here. Just bleed, motherfuckers. This is round two. This is round two. But uh, let's turn the clock on. Where are you? Here we go. There we go. Nice little body kick there and the front kick. Thanks for reminding me about the clock, by the way. Oh, nice body kick. From Grove. Leaven was countering, though. Nice knee. Gets hit with the right hand. Oh, nice jab. Then the body kick. And again with the body kick. Nice one. Oh, look at that. The, the jab, the double straight, the body kick. Or the push kick, rather. Yeah, but Levin gets him down. That's the that's the problem with that well, that's one of the, the issues with throwing so many kicks against a wrestler as well. If you mistime it or you miss, they will take you down. Oh nice push kick there. He doesn't want to he doesn't want to brawl with you. Well, you're gonna get close and brawl with Lieben. That is Oh look at that! Beautiful front kick as Lieben leaps in. Really using his range here. Oh, nice right hand. You mean Lieben? Lieben was slowing down. Oh, catch him with... Oh, he's down! Chris Lieben! That's it! Chris Lieben! Knocks out. Or finishes, rather. Finishes. Kendall Grove. LeBron. Yeah. Yeah, that was a fun fight, man. That was really fun. That knockdown animation right there is like almost always death if it's like the second knockdown. Sometimes it, you can survive, but you can't. Um, you can't catch anything, so it's very much uh, you just got to block and sway. But he was done after just one punch. That was too much. has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki has called a stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 11 seconds of the second round. Declaring the winner by TKO, Chris the Crippler. Big win for Lieben. I thought I might as well start introducing some of the, you know, the lower raid fighters. Oh, yeah, the, the lower raid fighters on here as well, because or, or the ones that aren't particularly, or that aren't in the top 15, because it, it, you know, it can get a little, uh, you can forget about them sometimes. Um, but yeah, the first what the Fight Night cards are for, you know, showcase a bit of uh, the up, uh, you know, the up and comers and whatnot, and the ones that aren't ranked or the all, the you know, that aren't currently ranked. The next fight is Mr. McGregor versus Evan Dunham. He's moved up to lightweight, where he really should be. Struggled at featherweight, although he did just come off a win against Javier Vasquez um, a few months, a couple months back. So, a couple months back in universe mode. This new YouTube studio, man. I'm not a massive fan. I must say, not a massive fan. I mean, I like the, I like some of the features on it, but yeah. Well, it's a 12, 12, It'll be twelve pay-per-views, twelve fight nights, and so basically, after it just. Uh, the new one, yeah. Uh, the new one, uh, so to speak, the baser one. I don't mind the classic one. I'm used to it. Um, but, yeah, I think we'll go... Uh, the uh, the card after UFC 12, will most likely, yeah, will be a, uh, a fight night. I mean, a fucking uh, a pride card. Oh, nice up jab there from Dunham. Hits him to the body. Smart. Sap that cardio early. I mean, Connor has stupid cardio for one, maybe two rows. Well, I mean, stupid strength. Fuck yeah, stupid power. Why did I say stupid cardio? I don't know, man. 
I can't speak today. Nice, nice, nice low kick. Man, Dunham is quick. That body kick, that, that, that push kick. Oh, gets reversed though. Catches that punch. Don't want to be eating ground and pound from McGregor. Dunham reverses. Gets it to half guard. Oh, misses a hammer fist though. Oh, Amba! Amba! From Dunham! This is wise! Can he get it? Will McGregor escape? I think this might be it! That's it! He gets it done! Evan Dunham takes out Conor McGregor in the first round. Evan Dunham wins in impressive fashion. Yeah. Connor, um, not having the success he does in real life here. But that's the cool thing about Universe, man. Like, John Jones is, like, ranked 14th. I mean, just because you have a 95 overall doesn't mean you're going to win everything. That's what I like. These fights are, are not just, like, a given. Uh, yeah, he's... No, he's won one fight. He beat Javier Vasquez. But he's one and... Two right now, I think. I don't think he fought Frankie. I think he's one and two. So... And now we move on to Forrest Griffin versus Cyril Diabate, which is going to be a fun fight. Both primarily strikers that like to stand and bang. So we'll see how they get on. showdown between the original Ultimate Fighter winner, Forrest Griffin, and Surreal Diabati. A seasoned veteran, Surreal Diabati made the transition from kickboxer to mixed martial artist and has fought against some of the best light heavyweights around the globe, including Shogun Hua and Babalu Sobral. With knockout punches and kicks, he'll be hoping to turn this into a stand-up war. Former light heavyweight champion and Ultimate Fighter Season 1 winner, Boris Griffin is an extremely dedicated athlete with impressive conditioning and well-rounded skills. A competitor known for his heart, Boris charges forward from the opening bell and never stops attacking. with our official introductions, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC light heavyweight division. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist. He stands six feet, six inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Ruel Malmaison, France. Cyril, the snake. Diabate! And now, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a freestyle fighter. He stands six feet, three inches tall. Weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada. Forrest... And 
and when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata, our referee. I'm Mike Goldberg with Joe Rogan, and we're ready to get Are things started. Are you ready? Surreal Diabati, Forrest Griffin. And here we go. To be a good one. Two light heavyweights going at it. Now, this is Forrest Griffin's debut in Universe Mode, and I think Diabate... No, Diabate recently knocked out, um... He knocked out Matyushenko, so... Oh, nice. Uh, I would take... I think I would go with that, Desanya. That's ripped to the body there. Goes with the high kick, gets blocked there. Two... Two mainly kick. Oh, nice tie clinch. Debate gets reversed. He definitely doesn't want to be on the ground with Griffin. This is the Griffin has a big advantage. Nice up by though. Pushes him off the feet. Oh. Griffin tries to land that low kick. Yeah, it would be. He's got the Muay Thai clinch. Goes to the Muay Thai clinch. Got him pressed up against the cage here. Double unders for Diabate. Let's see if he can throw him. Nope. Wow, Forest shoes. But nice. Diabate sprawls. Oh, oh, look at that. High kick there. Some vicious kicks. The tie clinch again, let's see if he lands some knees. Nope. Griffin is able to shrug him off there. Or push him off, rather. Oh, nice counter to that. That ducking hook. Lunging hook. And trying to line that back for his dear the one that knocked out Matyushenko. Yeah. Oh. Oh, uppercut. Oh! Intercepts the Superman jab. Beautiful from Forrest. The Abata clinches up, though. That's wise. Now double over-under. Now double under. Really trying to get that over-under. He's able to. That's a, that's, 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 that's uh, Forrest's round. Wow, this is already my top pick for fight of the night. These guys are throwing everything they have at each other. Striking, grappling, you name it. That is a round that MMA fans will be talking about for quite uh, some time. All right, I'll put this here for now. As a, as a placeholder. So this is one of the images he sent me. Which was... Uh, Oh, I know. Take a look at some of the actions from that round, Mike. Here's that beautiful counter punch. Uh, let me get rid of. Great. Actually, you know what? No, I'm gonna say oh, Arnold. Yeah, his nose is over. The beautiful uh, ready for round two. I will come back to that in a minute, actually. Are you ready? Oh, Are we showing this? Set for round two. This fight scheduled for three. There we go. <laughs> Oh, nice push kick from Diabate. That bag fist, though. Oh, nice dodge. Oh, nice counter there. Pull counter. What's up, boss man? Nice low kick. No, I know. Sometimes it's better to throw shorter, quicker punches, and that's what we're seeing here tonight. When you put all that effort and energy into a punch and you really wind up... Misses the body kick, gets hit with the Superman jab. Look at that Muay Thai stance for Diabate. Oh, look at that though. One, two in the low kick from Griffin. Uh, be a good fight. I think I would take... These days, probably Diaz. If we're talking about... Um, no, that's not a that's not an April Fool's joke. That was somebody just edited it. Over the top. And now he's answered. Oh, looping hook there. 
This is the high kick. Devate slowing down. Let's see if Griffin can take advantage. You got to give the conditioning advantage to Griffin. Uh, I don't know. It. I mean, Nick doesn't really seem like he wants to fight anymore. I don't think he really wanted to fight in the first place. Closing the distance. He's got the clinch, Joe. Uh, hi. I'm favoring Lima in that fight. Ninety seconds remains in the second. Ty clinch against the cage. We're going to see some knees. Nope. Oh. Oh, there we go. There's one. Ooh, second one sort of briefly lands. This is the high kick. That low kick kind of threw that one off. Oh, big right hand. Griffin looking to finish it. This might be it. Oh, knee to the body. Oh, on the head. That was a really long walk. Uh, does he have a Philly block? What's up, Nay? Here we see it one more time. Uh, kind of. Look at it from this angle. That's a super long rock. Yeah, he was uh not really a bit slow. Yeah. Uh, right. Let me. Official decision. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee. Well, I'm gonna put this on for a second. I'm gonna get rid of it. But let me just uh there we go. Then, all right, so we got this one, which is what he's which is what uh, Super Saiyan sent me. Which is uh uh This is the first image he sent me. Uh Super Saiyan. And the second one he sent me was Hold on. Uh Here we go. I like it. It's uh, it's funny. <laughs> that's a really good steal. That's uh, that's the the rock hold face. Um, but I think Mike Perry's nose is more glamorous than that. <laughs> uh, yeah. I think we're back. Uh, do a quick test. Make sure the chat still works. Yep, okay. Uh, right, next fight is... Charles Oliver versus Kevin Lee. Going to be a good one. They're both quite evenly ranked. And evenly matched as well, so... Implications here, for sure. fight between Charles Oliveira and the machine. Fighting out of the blue corner is the machine. Running through his opponents like a freight train with his powerful and effective takedowns, he'll be looking to utilize his wrestling skills to impose his will. Well-rounded and aggressive, Charles Oliveira is capable of stopping a fight in spectacular fashion, standing up or on the ground. Our Tale of the Tape is brought to you by Tap Out. An expression of combat known worldwide, now available at tapout.com. And now with the official introductions of our fighters, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, 
This fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall. Weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada. Kevin the Machine Lee. And now, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Brazilian jiu-jitsu fighter. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall. Weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Houston, Texas. Charles Dobrox Oliveira. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Josh Rosenthal. Josh Rosenthal, our referee. I'm Mike Goldberg alongside Joe Rogan. We are set to get things Gentlemen, started. Ready? The Machine, ready? Charles Oliveira. And we are Let's underway. Fight. So, big fight here. Kevin Lee recently submitted Conor McGregor in his last fight. I think, uh, yeah, I think it was Conor. Uh, he recently went to TriStar, and, which is fantastic because um, because he, he, I think he's going to do well there. Oh, yeah. Under the guidance of Faras. Nice catch there. Oliveira's guard. Very dangerous. Now he passes it, though. Oh, he gets crucifix. It gets reversed. Uh, no, he hasn't got cut if we talk about universe mode. Ooh. Side control for Lee. And again, crucifix. Still doesn't not able to get mount. Nice reversal. He did, yeah. And he passes. Side control. Ooh. Under three minutes now. Side control again. And back to full guard. Back to side control. Shots from ground and power or shots from side control. Oh, again. Not able to get back to, uh... <laughs> Wasn't able to get the full guard, but... Mm, he's now on top, reverses him. Trying to get up, wow, look at this! Oliveira wants to get back to his feet, but... Chooses to reverse. See how Kevin does. Stands up. Okay. Ah, oh, taunts him. Oliveira looking to work his striking here. It's Muay Thai. Oh, Lee shoots. Gets him down. Back to their feet. Oh, nice low kick there. Uppercut. Well, wow, nice, nice head movement there from Oliveira. Making Kevin Lee miss. But he's got to make him pay more. Uh, not a ton. We've had one, two, three, four fights. We've still got four more fights to go. Don't worry. I'll say not much. I guess half of it. But this is uh, yeah, this is part of the first of the last four fights. <laughs> well, good luck, man. Work on that sprawl. Intricacies of the ground game, but neither guy seemed willing to take a chance when it went there, which makes for a very stale, very unexciting mate, did, matchup. Mate, did you not see him go for crucifix twice? Kinda, kinda did do fucking Norton. Sorry, fucking Norton. Fucking Norton. He didn't do much. He got taken down an armbar. In like less than three minutes. Instantly turning that into a takedown. And here we see that exchange that ends right, cool. in a solid takedown. Yeah, Oliveira was uh I thought he might, you know, be happy to play play on the ground, but no. Chandela gets us set for round two. Well thank you all for coming by. Hope you're enjoying the uh, the card. Man, you can see how much thicker Kevin Lee is. Oh, nice left hand there from Kevin. Oh, nice sway in the counter right. Counter right hook. Strip to the body. 
Nice shot here, gets him down. Oh, big shots from side control. See if he gets cruiser fix again. No, 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 not able to. Oliveira. Oh, full mount. But. <laughs> yeah, that. If anything, if that, if, if, better, if that game gets remade, it must be remade and not remastered. Hopefully, when they remake it, they actually remake it in like the essence of a real MMA game. Although, yeah, remake, it wouldn't really be a faithful remake. But shit, I don't care. That's one of the games I wouldn't bother with a faithful remake of, unless it was straight like straight up like as good as Mortal Kombat or something. His brother's MMA was fun, or at least it looks fun. It's basically fucking MMA in the uh, in the dumps. Oh really? Okay. By the way, I yesterday I, I was playing with a few friends on GTA and I came up with something on the off the fly kind of, because um, I thought we we were we were doing some missions in GTA and, and my friend uh, well I got my helicopter. And my, as I was running over to it, my friend said Amazon Prime. But I thought he said Amazon Crime. So I thought, hmm, you know what? I'm going to call my business in GTA Amazon Crime. Free same-day delivery of bullets to the head. Or same-day delivery of drug packages. I mean, Amazon... Oh, nice rock from... That was Goldberg-level fucking uh, 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 rambling there. Um, nice, nice shot there from... Kevin Lee to rock Oliveira. But I think I'm going to call my business Amazon Crime. Um, I don't know. I quite like it. By the way, Alejandra Lara. I think that's how you say her name. She won last night. Which is, you know, awesome for her. And also great. I, I really like her whole... Uh, her deforest, uh, stop deforestation uh, thingy she did with the Wayans. <laughs> yeah, Amazon Crime. Sending in military drones. Full mount for... Uh, but Kevin Lee gets reversed though. Why don't I take a breath? Oh. No, she's not. Hold on, do you guys use the word tart differently to what we. A tart over here is like a. kind of a, a bitch slash. If I remember correctly, actually. Hold on. Yeah, kind of a uh, someone who. Oh, okay, right. Over here we call it like tar is basically a lighter word, a lighter version for calling someone a slag or a slut or something. Kind of, a, it's not as intense though as it says here. It's basically a lighter version, but it's someone who, uh, um, yeah, a prostitute. You know, someone who. Uh, you know, it, it's kind of. Yeah, it, it, it's around like prostitute, something like that. Here we go, round three. <laughs> Show them how you fit into all this. Oh, oh okay. Oh, 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 they're going back and forth on the feet here. Oliveira, landing bomb. Well, I say bombs. He's landing shots. Lovely pull counter though. He's got that. He, oh, he's landing that. This is heating up right here. The grappler. Well, the jujitsu artist gets taken down by the wrestler. Boo! No. Um, Oh, look at this. He shoots again. I don't think Oliveira has been able to spoil a single shot of Kevin Lee's. But that, I think that just that just shows you how good he is. Bring it back, my friend. Why not, right? I wonder if we'll see... Uh, oh, I, was gonna, I, want, I wonder if we'll see Oliveira throw out some submissions. Oh. See if he can try to get a guillotine here. His guillotines are very good. Oh, well, look at this. Reverses Kevin Lee, though. Nice elbow. True, no, he hasn't. But from his back, I was uh, wondering if he'd throw one up. Just, you know, threaten something. Get Kevin Lee thinking about it. Still not able to get full mount. I love the animation, by the way. To full mount. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, Oliveira got the rock in the last round. Kevin Lee did some real damage in the first round. I think Oliveira's hurt, though. He's got that pinkish uh, hue around his eye. That means usually that they're really hurt. Oh, look at this nice sprawl, though. Let's see. Kevin Lee, I think, has a lift-up slam. Ooh, or something. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Bang! S throws him down. Oh, yeah. I'm surprised there isn't a bit more reaction from the commentators there. 
Not able to get a crucifix, gets reversed. Oh, big shot. I think Kevin got him with the upper, uh, got Oliver with the upper card last round, didn't he? Yeah. Back to the ground. Now side control for Kevin. This is big for the judges, or big, yeah, big for the decision really. But gets reversed. All, all these takedowns, I think, are going to start weighing, putting it in the favour of uh, putting it in uh, in uh, these favour. Not able to get up. Oh. Yeah, Kevin Lee, threatening submissions. What is this? What the hell levitation? Okay. Apparently, Kevin Lee is uh, what's locked up in Area 51. Who knew? They're fun, those slams. Those German suplexes as well. Lovely. Yeah, practice magic. Lovely slip counter there. But lo look at that. Shoots right under. <laughs> when they say where does he fit in all of this, he really fits. Like, he fits outside of gravity, as it turns out. Right, let's see. Bruce Buffer has the decision. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, I think Kevin Lee got it. The judges score cards for a decision. The judges score it 29, 28, 29, 28, and 29, 28. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision. Kevin. Yeah. Machine yeah. I, I, I close my eyes for decision, so I don't actually see what it says. I wait ring. to hear it. Uh, yeah. Guess it done. Kevin Lee. Big win. That's two in a row now. That might actually, that might even be three. I'm not sure. <laughs> Just how good, it, good is he? Alright, so next fight is a big one. It's Phil Davis versus Shogun Earth. Two light heavyweight fights in a row and then we have the main event. So it's been a quick card, but it's been a really fun card as well. <clears throat> heavyweight showdown between Phil Davis and the dangerous Brazilian Mauricio Shogun Hua. A decorated mixed martial arts champion both here and in pride, light heavyweight superstar Mauricio Shogun Hua fires away at his opponents with a dynamic striking game. A well-rounded warrior with vicious knees and technical grappling skills, he's looking to electrify the crowd on his way to victory. A world-class grappler, Phil Davis used his athleticism and submission skills to smash through all of his first nine opponents, holding wins over tough veterans like Rogerio Noguera, Brian Stan, and Tim Boach. Mr. Wonderful is counted among the best light heavyweights in the world. Our Tale of the Tape is brought to you by Tap Out, an expression of combat known worldwide, now available at tapout.com. Once again, with our official introductions for this battle, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC Light Heavyweight Division. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer. He stands six feet, one inch tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Curitiba, Brazil. Mauricio Shogun Pula. And now, fighting out of the red corner, 
This man is a wrestler. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Right here in San Diego, California, Bill, Mr. Wonderful Davis. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Eve Levine. Eve Levine, our referee. Mike Goldberg alongside my partner Joe Rogan. Round one is about ready, to begin. You ready? Mauricio Shogun Hua, Bill Davis. And here we Mike. go. What do you mean, Ty? Also, um, if I can ever get a bot to work with virtual currency, I'm going to try and add some sort of betting system in where we can, like, bet on fights. It would probably be a thing where, like, you would, like, uh, withdraw a certain amount of points, so to speak, or be awarded a certain amount of points if... Um, if the if the fighter you pick to win one, it would have. I think it might have to be a manual thing. It could be automatic. I don't know. It might take some. Uh, it might. Uh, yeah. It might be. Um, I think you can do auto things like a trigger. I think you would have to probably type like I don't know something. Just an example like exclamation mark claim or something. Um. <laughs> Dude, I have become an addict to the casino in GTA Five. I just sit there on the fucking slot machine, pressing the button. <laughs> I don't know what it is in casinos and games, but I love them. I love the slot machines. Now, obviously, I wouldn't do it in real life because that's, yeah, that goes that goes south very badly or very quickly. But in video games, it's awesome. Oh, nice overhand right in the low kick from Phil. See if Shogun is maybe a little tentative after coming uh, after you know after coming off that knockout from uh, Johnny Walker. Ah <laughs> yes, it is so cool. Yeah. Oh, lovely. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my Superman punch from Davis there, and the rip to the body. Yep. <laughs> it's my money. Oh, oh, knocks him down. Phil doesn't doesn't follow up though, which is interesting. I thought you might try and jump into the guard, but no. Oh, nice counter from Shogun. Oh wow, they're going at it here. Shogun tries to get that tie clinch, but was denied. Oh, Superman punch. Oh, nice right hand. Oh, check. Oh, they fucking hell. Um, if you check my community page, you can see my rankings. Uh. Right now, Phil Davis is higher. Oh, big uppercut from Davis. Just remember, if they're in the red corner, that means they're the higher rank. Unless it's the champion in a lower division moving up to a higher division against a number one contender. Here, let me uh, grab the... Uh, I'll, gra I'll tell you where, where they are. So... We have, right, so, number eight, Phil Davis, number nine, Shogun. So, very, very close here. Number seven, Mick Weed, number six, Johnny Walker, number five, Rockhold, fighting tonight against the number four, Contender Alexander Gustafsson, number three, Little Nog, who submitted uh, Gustafsson in his last fight. Number two, Rashad Evans, who recently uh, lost to Chuck, who is somehow the number one contender and will face Vitor Belfort at an unspecified date in the future. The, uh, the, the, yeah, the man, I think it was a Mickweed pull counter, but it basically is a jab from Mickweed anyway. It, it, everything he throws has the power of a jab. Um. <laughs> we will see about the subscribers. I'm definitely going to do it. I just need to sort it out. I, I feel like I, what I might do is I might, um, the problem is there's only 40 cast slots. I, the only problem with a second account for universe mode caps is that you can't really have subscriber caps or, you know, some, on a card with other universe mode caps unless i create more universe mode caps on that account like say we five or six you know what i mean because you can't really into you can't really put them together through accounts uh normally 16 uh no wait is it no they, yeah i think it's six is it 16 per 68 per team oh nice knees Oh, nice tie. Oh, knocks him down. Oh, big shot. Jumps in the guard. He's hurt. This could be it. 
Can he survive? It's over. It's over. Yeah, that is nice. That's what I was going to... That's what we were going to do. Um, that is a good idea, actually. That's that's a good idea. Then, then I just have to bring one in. Uh, in terms of, like, slots. Yeah, because I, I, I have, like, one or two casts left to delete, but... Right at this point, it's a balance between introducing established fighters as calves and um, uh, but also um, oh, what do we call it? Subscribers. What I could do is I could recreate some calves on um, on an alternate account. We'll see. That's a big win for Phil Davis, though. He's moving on up. I think he may be fighting... Hmm, he may be Johnny Walker next. That's a good fight, but Johnny Walker, you know, kind of raring to go. But, you know, Walker, he's he's too eager to get to get going. He recently got knocked out by Lindell, so... Still under medical suspension, but... I like the five per team thing, though. Yeah. Right, so we're on to the co-main event already. This one should be good. our co-main event of the evening a light heavyweight showdown between the monster and pretty boy fighting out of the blue corner is pretty boy with a combination of physical strength and technique this dangerous grappling specialist is looking to add a big win to his ufc record tonight Standing across from him in the red corner is the Monster, a knockout artist known for his ability to dish out brutal amounts of punishment. He is one of the most feared stand-up fighters in the division. Our Tale of the Tape is brought to you by UFC Store. The sport lives here. And now with the official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the co-main event of the evening. Three rounds of fighting in the UFC light heavyweight division. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. He stands six feet three inches tall. Weighing in at 205 pounds, fighting out of Rotterdam, Netherlands, Pretty Boy. And now, fighting out of the red corner, he stands 6 feet 5 inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds, fighting out of Stockholm, Sweden, Alexander the Monster. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Kevin Mohall. Kevin Mohall, our referee. Mike Goldberg with Joe Rogan, and we are ready to start round one. Okay, fighters. You Pretty ready? boy. Are you ready? The monster. And here we go. Rockface potentially making a cover, make an appearance here. We'll see. Well, we had Shardface, so we'll call this one Rockface. If it happens in the game, we'll see. Oh, nice light. Oh, wow. Already a cut on rock hold, man. His face is not exactly made of leather. Oh, nice counter left hook right there. 
That's the problem with being a mod with having that model skin, that soft skin. You can't cut. You, you get cut easily. Now, obviously, I'm joking. I'm not saying that all all models have like super, you know, super fucking weak skin. You know, I'm joking. But oh, nice body kick from Rock God. Oh, oh man, he's busted up though. His Rock God. His nose is rose. His cheeks are cut. His knees are weak. Arms are heavy. Oh, nice, nice push kick there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I I did not know. I think that, I think it was just a regular body kick that might have might have looked like one. Oh wow! Okay. Oh, Rockhold gets caught with a big head kick from Gustafson. <laughs> oh man, Gustafson is fucking. He's he's on the warpath right now after losing to. After losing to Nogueira. I mean, this is a fight that... I mean, this is really the... Whoever wins this is pretty much the top contender here. <laughs> oh, I like that team. I'm almost surprised at what, what moves I give him, because it's been a while since I've used him. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, he's taking shots, but nice little counter, nice, nice check hook there from uh, from Rockhold. Ah, uh, clinch here. Okay, let's see what he does. If he tries to catch a punch potentially, or catch a knee rather, and they back back out with the clinch. Oh, big shots! Gustafs is hitting him, man. That high kick, got to set that up a bit more. But nice low kick from Rockhold, and, and the teep. Oh, oh. They're going at it. Countering and scoring big time. To the body from Luke. It takes that high kick, blocks it well. Our first round is in the books. Joe, both fighters. Definitely Gustafson's round. To keep this fight standing. And the crowd here seems to appreciate I mean, look, Luke match, Luke got dropped by fucking Mickweed, so it's almost like you kind of got to you got to expect him to get hurt at one point at some point. Yeah, he is. You're gonna have to go chase him, use your range, a lot of turns, be sharp with that. You gotta work, you gotta get your offense decent for him to take time. All right, let's go to replay, Mike. Here's that kick that connected. And I like how you're speaking Welsh, Jones. Baseball bat. And a punishing counter right here. You can see all it takes is one opening and bang. Here we see some amazing anticipation with a tremendous counter. Oh, didn't even hit him. That's how weak rock on chin is. The air can rock him. Second round. See if Gustafson comes out like he did in the first, or if Rockhold regains some momentum. Nice low kick. Stop the movement. Oh, push kick out the middle. Well, not even a push kick, straight front kick. Oh, hey, flying knee from Rockhold. Doesn't land. See if he goes for that question mark kick again. Really going to that straight to the body. Oh, big shot. Man, Gus is countering all day. Rockhold's going to figure something out here. Because uh, because Gustafson has the the game plan. Oh, that uppercut! Nice little uh, dodge out of range there. We'll see, man. We'll see. Maybe, yeah. It's been a while. By the way, the Cunt Johnson stream got is, is viewable again, which is nice. Rock up, backing up here. Oh, goes to the body again, but gets caught this time. Nice, reverses him. Let's see if he throws him here. He definitely doesn't want to get reversed and get put into bottom mount. Tie clinch. Against the cage. Damn, uh, I hope you like it, Oliver. The, the, the game. 
Uh, it got done by UFC for like a small clip of John Jones in one of the Karimo clips. So it recently got, yeah, but it was made available for viewing again. So yeah, yeah, Rockhold slowing down. Gustafson with that. Oh, big knee! He knocks him out. Rockhold's done. It's over. Luke Rockhold gets KO'd. Luke out cold. There you see it again. And no question about that one. He's ba 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 bang. Oh yeah, he just drops like he's dead. Oh, oh, oh the ref didn't care. And lights out. Had money on rock cold, I think. Alright, cool. Whoa. Excellent timing on the button. Wow, he is still down. He really got blasted. Hey, that's cool. He's against the cage. Is that because he got knocked out against the cage? That's interesting. That's a different animation, slightly. Maybe it's just... Maybe it's the same. It's just position. I'm not sure. Yeah, it does. It's got some uh, defamation to it. De def yeah. Yeah, neither have I. The monster wins this fight. Gustafson with the big win. Uh, I can... Oh, that's weird. Okay, so you could kind of see under his shirt there, and I think they just apply a black texture like a massive shadow. Hmm. Okay, well, Gustafson took... Definitely was... You know, he, he got... Rockwell got his licks in, but just not enough. Gustafson put him down with that massive knee. Okay, main event time. Joseph Benavidez, Dominic Cruz. Basically a number one contender fight. In fact, it is a number one contender fight. Um, let's, see, uh, let's see how it plays out. between Joseph Benavides and Dominic Cruz. With a dominant run in the WEC 135 pound division, Dominic Cruz is no stranger to performing against world-class opponents. Possessing solid wrestling skills and creative strikes that baffle his opponents, Cruz is an extremely tough problem to deal with. When it comes to pure athletic talent, few mixed martial artists are as gifted as Joseph Benavides. A state wrestling champion, he developed into a complete mixed martial artist and became one of the top contenders in the WEC. Powered by Zions, the official energy drink of the UFC. We are now set for the official introductions, and with that, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And now, live from the Pearl at the Palms in Las Vegas, it's... Time! Three rounds in the UFC Bantamweight Division. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer and a wrestler. He stands five feet, eight inches tall. Weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of San Diego, California. Ladies and gentlemen, 
He is the current UFC bantamweight champion of the world, Dominic the Dominator Cruz. And now, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler and a kickboxer. He stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Sacramento, California, Joseph Benavidez. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Herb Dean. Herb Dean is our referee. Mike Goldberg alongside my partner Joe Rogan, and we are ready to get this fight are you started. Ready to fight? Dominic are you Cruz, ready? Joseph Benavides. Yeah, the uh, fight nights were only main events back then were only three rounds, so unless it was a title fight. Ooh, ooh, catching him with the the jab. Does Cruz see? He's got uh, he's got that step and jab animation. Yeah, I always go live at 7 p.m. British time or 4 p.m. But I will often, I always, you know, I'll, I'll, if it's 4 p.m., I will always say on my uh, community page a day, at least a day before. Full mount for Benavidez. You can see the size difference is massive. Benavidez really a flyweight competing at bantamweight because there is no flyweight division so that's buffer being unaware like he will always announce champions as cha the funny thing is you can technically have the like a title holder in the event mode be called a champion but also have the real champion at the time be as a champ so you can kind of have champ v champ in a funny way like that oh But Cruz does have a unique jab and straight animation. <laughs> Fire, Bruce. Yeah, we're getting Michael Buffer. Oh, look at that. Nice takedown. Cruz kicks him off back to his feet. Oh, oh nice knee to the body. Like that step and jab. Nice, nice hook there from Benavides. Cutting the cage off. Ooh, nice defense there from Cruz. All right, cool. Oh, get he ducks under but gets caught. See if Cruz he pushes up and they're able to land a shot there. His opponent away. What an exchange here. A hook. Oh, body kick. Kind of sounded like a high kick. Nice. To the body. Again, goes to it. That time he gets blocked. The leg kick gets checked. Good first round. I think I'd give that one to Cruz uh, for the knockdown. And the crowd here seems to appreciate a good striking match, Mike. Okay? I don't want you looking at him. I want you step jabbing with the quick jab. Okay? He's got nothing. Good, good, good. You're listening. Can you hear me? Perfect. That's all we need. Movement. Just turn him off. Okay? Keep moving. Keep moving. You just got to get a little more active with everything. Okay? Keep that range. A lot more range. Let's take a look at the replay from that round, Mike. This was well timed here. Just a beautiful slip and counter. And here we see some amazing anticipation with a tremendous counter. Solid striking on display in that round, Mike. Um... I've had one really soon in the second round. I saw a video the other day of someone got a knockout in eight seconds. With a Cod McGregor, funnily enough. Against Nate. That was interesting. That, that was cool. Oh, look at Dana there. Okay. Nice to the body and then to the... Okay, I like that. Bo body jab, head uh, straight to the head, and then the, the low kick from Cruz. Oh, tries to throw him. Toss him, rather. Benavidez with the double unders. Shoots. Will he get him down? Nope. Scrawls. Oh, he's an uppercut. 
Yeah, I've gotten knocked out pretty quick uh, a few times as well. Nice timing there. <laughs> Oof. Job on the reversal. Pushes him off of the feet. Nice shot again. Ducks under that, uh, or dives under that. Um, he's got that, single. that straight goes for him again. Not able to cruise with that takedown defense. I mean, he's a good, he's a great wrestler himself. So, and he's got more size. But Benavides, he's he's scrappy man. Yeah, especially because you have low sub defense there. And there are some guys in WFA have, have some pretty good submissions. Especially a heavyweight. Oh, shoots. Can he get him down? Nope. Really nice takedown offense. Uh, it, was, it was pretty back and forth. I would say... Uh, I would say that um, it was Cruz's round. Got a knockdown. Not a rock knockdown, but just, you know, regular knockdown. Oh, they, they exchange at the same time. They hit each other at the same time, rather. Like, man, but if it is his timing that, that jab, rather, you know, whether it's with a hook or it's a takedown attempt. <laughs> Die, Victor Cruz, yeah. Fuck Victor Cruz. That fucker is so good compared to you, stat-wise. Like, when they actually let, 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 let him fight you. Or let you fight him, rather. Yeah. Well, hey, good for him, right? Oh, nice takedown. He finally gets it on Cruz. See if Dominic's able to reverse. He gets back to his feet. Nice. But, yeah. Uh, Cruz actually has unique animations. Uh, jabs, jabs and straights. He's definitely one of them, yeah. If not the most exciting player. Him and Tahudo, I think. Do you know, I have never seen him in the UFC. But it wouldn't surprise me if he does, yeah. That'd be a great fight, also. Gotta charge the controller. Yep. Also, I think Sahudo won that first fight, but hey, that's just me. Let's go to the replay, Mike. Here's that vicious shot. I thought this was a knockout right here. I remember made a of videos of that slim, shady haircut for a bit. Or hair color for a bit. Some good striking in that round, Mike. Mm -hmm. The beautiful Britney. It's crazy that DJ just fucking knocked out Benavidez in like the first round in their second fight. Just clean out. Beautiful technique. Round three is underway. Oh, checks the low kick. Benavidez having a tough time getting inside that range somewhat, especially without you know if he's not countering. But nice knee there from Cruz. I like that straight. Goes for it again. Oh, uppercut from Cruz. Rips to the body. Cruz kind of staying on the outside, but that's his thing. But here we go. He gets inside with the clinch. See if he was able to throw him. Oh, no. Take that attempt. Cruz sprawls. Now Cruz going for it again. Well, he's not able to get that one. Oh, catches the kick, though. Into guard. Oh, they collide. Nice little... I love that dodge out of range there. That step out. He comes back to the Superman. Look at this. See if he's able to throw it. Nope. Chooses to go back to double unders. Almost had body lock. Yeah. Oh, look at this. Big knee. That's a, that, that's a good big shot there. Because Cruz has landed, but he hasn't landed with a ton of power. Now, that is not exactly Cruz's style, but... We'll see if he's still able to, um, you know. Oh, he's landing shots here, though. See if he's able to rock Benavidez at all. Landing big shots. Nice butterfly guard from Benavidez. 
We'll try and shuck him off. Nope. Nice reversal. Again with the ground and power side control. Cruz maybe will maybe potentially going to reverse this, get him out. Nope. Side control. Side control. One minute left. Almost. Side control for Benavidez. Good place to end the round if it does indeed end here. But I don't think it will. Top mount. Oh, gets back to the half guard. Nice, sir. Uh, nice one from Cruz. Nice little scramble. Back to side control. See if he goes for a gear team. No. And it ends. That's very good for Benavides, you know. Ends the round. Ends the fight on top. Why does this animation like it? That was a close fight. That was a close fight. That that last round was close because, man, you know, I would say Cruz had the had the strikes on the feet in that third round. Oh, but. But if he does have the, um, but if he does have the takedowns in the latter half, so that fucking head shaking is weird. I don't know why it happens. It's a glitch, but it's funny. Look, it's like he's he's nodding, like oh shit, no, don't hit me. All right, I'm gonna close my eyes. We'll see what we get. The judges have rendered their decision, and here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecard we'll go either way. for a decision. The judges score it 30, 27, oh. 30, 27, really? and 30, 27, hmm. playing the winner by unanimous decision, Dominic the Dominator. I, did, I didn't think that was uh, a 30, 27 for Cruz, but... Mm. Yeah, check out that uh, that straw poll link there. I'm going to go with... I like how you put the H there, Shogun Hua. Uh... Yes, this is the best MMA game I've ever played. I love it. I'm going to vote for... Man, best fight. There were so many good fights. It's a tricky one. Griffin versus Diabate was kind of wild. Oliveira, Kevin Lee was going. I'm going to go with Phil Davis and Shogun. I think that was a great fight. Um, yeah, the Gus fight was great. Usually, the fight of the night is back and forth, but also, you know, it could also not be. Hey, Tyler, how you doing, man? Oh, let's see what the game says. I will vote. Yeah, I'll probably vote for the Gus fight. Or the, the Shogun fight. Joey had a great night of battles, but only one can be our fight of the night. <laughs> yeah, hands down. Oh yeah, how did I forget the leap, uh, the grow fight? Oh okay. The man versus Bispig in in, in the game. Awesome, awesome oh. Be a good fight in real life if Bispig was a little younger. Oh, uh, it would be a good fight, yeah. Sometimes the refs just don't see them. Joe, time to take a look at our knockout of the night. Yeah, no question who won this fight. I mean, this oh is yeah, this is beautiful. Here as we take a Times that high kick, bang gonna straight to the jaw. Like this. It's gonna be interesting to see how he recovers and where he hey, just jumps here. on him. Yeah, that would be cool. The um, the betting on uh, betting on Fire one, yeah. 
the refs were paid. Hmm. Who knows? An unspecified sum of money. <laughs> Diego Sanchez again. Uh, let's check some of the night. It's got to be the one. There's only one. It's uh, Evan Dunham. Oh, okay. Two votes. Huh. <coughs> <coughs> Pardon me. Sorry. Yeah, I'm voting Gus. Yeah. Gus, Gus Rock Cold. Joe, we've seen some great jiu-jitsu over our years together. Tonight's submission of the night, one of the best finishes ever. Yeah, as we take a look back at the armbar here, you can see it was locked in pretty tight. You know, I've rolled with some of these guys before, and when you get caught in a submission hole yeah. like this, you're really better off tapping. Beautiful armbar, definitely worthy of submission of the night. <laughs> Big toe scram. Yeah, no, no, yeah, I saw her. No, oh, I checked her. No clear winner yet. But it's, uh, who do we got? Man, it's split. We got Shogun, Kevin Lee, Diabate, Colonel Grove. Don't forget, one more time. Hold on. Outstanding fights, and tonight was no different. For my partner Joe Rogan and all of us at the Ultimate Fighting Championship, Mike Goldberg saying so long until next time. We see you right back here inside the Octagon. Yeah, so that's 50 G's to both of those. I quite like that straw poll idea. We should, uh, we should stick with that. That's good. I like what the game does, but at the same time, you know. <laughs> Don't forget locker room bonuses. Alright. Mayhem Miller brutalizes Akiyama, who's going to need uh, some time off, a lot of time off, right straight to the jaw. Times that high kick. Fight the night. Well, undisputed to fight the night. Chris Lieberman versus Kendall Grove. Submission of the night. Evan Dunham. Cup McGregor, Evan Dunham. Surprisingly, potentially. <laughs> yeah, he does. Sexy armor. I sub for UFC. What is this universe mode bullshit? Um, yeah, some people might have thought that Connor wouldn't, you know, would have. Potentially seem real Devin Dunham, Devin Dunham, resilient as ever. Forrest Griffin, Diabate. Griffin gets it done in the second round by TKO. Kevin Lee, the machine, takes out Dubronx via a decision. Now, interesting that Kevin Lee was going for the submissions there rather than Oliveira, but. <laughs> uh, well, there isn't really anyone else. The problem is. Well, if he, well, a lightweight, there's a few people. We'll see it lightweight. Not a featherweight, though. Phil Davis versus Shogun. This is the community's fight of the night. So, great fight back and forth. They, they were going at it. Shogun, two fight skid now, but Phil Davis got that momentum going, man. The, the, the performance of the night, Gustafson, get it done over Mr. Rockhold, who is quite close to death, probably, after those uh, vicious knees. And the main event, Dominic Cruz, I would have, well, it not really ekes out. According to the scorecards, dominant decision, dominant, dominant win, but the scorecards didn't tell the full story in this one. This was very back and forth. I think it was a it was a case of where it was close rounds, but Cruz won every one of them. So if you don't, if you haven't seen the fight, it might look like it was a really, you know, it was one-sided, but definitely not. Benavidez will be back. 
Great effort from both both uh, both fires there. Uh, it's Paisha. Yeah, well, Paisha's done. Um, I don't want him in here anymore. Dana Sifa's dad. Ugh. Okay, I'm gonna play something real quick. It's not fully done. Um, I'm gonna before I update this, I am gonna um, before I upload this, I'm gonna change it. But it's ba this is basically um, this is a little reveal. So make sure you turn your volume down, okay? Cause it's gonna be loud. I can't really change that, but change your volume. Hold on. Oops. Uh, let me go here. And then what? What? What's this? Is this just okay? That's that. All right. Let me. Hold on. I, I, I'll, just, I'll just go here and add a video. Give me a sec. Hold on. Right. I'm gonna. I'm gonna make sure to turn your volume down. Um, this is basically a reveal for universe mode. I still need to edit a couple of things, make it a little bit cleaner, which I'll do before I upload it to my channel. But here we go. Uh, hold on. Possessing a perfect combination of speed, power, and technique, Junior has to. to, 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 to. Possessing a perfect combination of speed, power, and technique, Junior has defeated a who's who of contenders. With ruthless striking skills and world champion level jiu-jitsu, this Brazilian warrior is looking to continue his explosive ways here in the octagon. Possessing a perfect combination of speed, power, and technique, Junior has defeated a who's who of contenders. With ruthless striking skills and world champ 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 champ
Okay, here we go. Right. This is what he looks like. Yeah, champ, champ, champ. Ha 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 ha! Yeah, I have fucking Tyson Fury posters all over my wall, bro. I've got a shrine of Tyson. That's what it looks like, so. I'm very, I, I, the only thing I changed slightly was a tiny bit of the jaw and uh, the eyes a tiny bit, but besides that, it's all, you know, all from uh, the Maycalf. Yeah, champ, 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 champ. This man is a champ of so many organizations, it's incredible. He might be the most winningest fight, the most accomplished fighter in uh, MMA history. With all those belts. Okay, well, there you go. You know what? I'll do a quick fight with him. Because I actually haven't... I, I don't, I, I'm not played with him. Actually, I have played with him once, I think. He's good fun. I'll show him the, I'll show the stats and everything. I think that might be a bug with the Argato software. I think it must be actually. All right, let's just go lightweight. Red corner. No, I got blue corner. <laughs> yes. Uh, here we go. That would be scary. So this is what his stats look like. 88 strength, 93 speed. You know, I, I made sure to try and emphasize his strengths, but also he does have weaknesses. You know, his cardio is not fantastic. His footwork, he is not very good. I mean, he, well, he circles well, but then he, when he gets backed up, he struggles. Um, you know, not great takedowns, but good takedown defense. Very good takedown defense. Good submission defense. You know, let's try to make him balanced. Let me know if uh, you want, if you think I should change anything here. Go with him. Man, Habib. But this is Kevin, which I think I need to... Yeah, I might have to turn him down a bit as well. Although I don't mind him right now. I think 89 is pretty good. Pardon me. Is that going to become a thing now? Because if it is, I'm fine with it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Fair enough. Plug the controller in. <laughs> Infinite champions. Centurial champion. Ooh, Centur Centurial Champion sounds cool. So who has got some competition now? The only downside to this game are the load times, but hey. There we go. It's an interim lightweight title fight between Joker and the machine. Had to call him Joker, there's no junior, so. I should have showed the animations. I tried to get them accurate. I'll show the the, the fire ones. <laughs> and now with our official introductions, Bruce Buffer. And now, Here, let me show uh, let me show the Barboza animation too. I, I'm quite happy with them. I try to make them as accurate as possible. He stands five feet eleven inches tall, weighing in at one hundred fifty-five pounds, fighting out of Pocatuck, Greek Florida, Joker. I know. Looks incredible. Oh, the only other thing I changed as well, changed as well as the hair color. I made it a little bit darker. Oh, look at this. Kevin Lee is uh, animated here. Wow. He touched him like his hand was on fire. Uh, we'll just do this real quick. Joker. <laughs> Maybe, who knows? Oh wow, Kevin Lee caught me with a high kick. I must commit suicide due to dishonor. 
Oh, nice. Mike Kevily is uh, active here. Man, that faint is quick. I didn't want to throw that. I wanted to faint it, but... Trying to go with that overhand right. Oh, big kick. Like that low kick. This is the high kick. <laughs> Come here, so could you. Fast hands. Good battle inside. People call it Sudoku. We call it fucking uh, Sokuchu. Yeah, I like it. Potentially, I just thought you know he, he he you know it would be a nice it would be it's a good way to make his his low kicks quick, and I can see Edton throwing a little you know Superman. <laughs> oh, nice catches that. Did I reverse? No. Oh, got me in crucifix. Two minutes remains in round number one. Good body shot. Slowing down. And he got me there again. Oh my god. Just over a minute remains. There you go, call that. Man, I'm let's get the timing ready for that. I thought I reversed that. Alright, let's It's just yeah. I thought I reversed that, but okay. Stand us up, refs. Ref rather. Pushing his opponent away. He lets him up. Push kick. Okay, well, we missed the low kick, but that wasn't too bad. He he got me on the ground, but, you know, it's Kevin Lee. <laughs> I'll do apologize for it, but I guess I guess some good came out of it in the fact that it was funny. I, I didn't mean for that to happen. I, I was I was hoping it wouldn't. I for, actually, I half forgot about it until it happened. And then I was like, oh, shit, how do I fix this? Uh... Let's check out some of the action from that round, Mike. This was just an unbelievable counter right here. One quick thing when you go jail blow, come back with the jail. Don't come back with the hook, he's leaning back. The beautiful Shandella. We are ready for round two. Shandella, ready? Ready? Okay. We start round two. Fight. This fight's scheduled for five. Five minute round. Maybe I should give him the teeth, I'm not sure. <laughs> what an exchange here. Oh, they're just throwing. Oh, they're exchanging here. Oh, wow. Nice body kick. Okay, I'm going to start using that, I think. It's not exactly... It's not a powerful kick, but shit. It's quick and it looks a bit better. He does, yeah. Nice. Oh. The crowd showing their support for Joker. Three minutes remains in a second round. Ace. And now he's answered. Oh, I caught him with that. Oh, to the midsection. He caught the kick. Starting to slow down a bit. Oh, he's hurt. So we can finish him. Oh, he catches the punch. He got blasted, but it looks like he snapped back pretty quickly. The crowd now chanting for the machine. Nice, got that Superman punch. Body shot. Got that body. Hey, 
There we go. Oh, he dropped me. Got to get off the cage. He can't take many more of these, Joe. Oh, wow, well, the ref got in the way. Thanks. Start to slow down. He is taking a beating. Inside leg kick. Excellent combination. Two rounds in the books. Good second round. In this UFC title fight, Joe, both fighters seem determined to keep this fight standing. And the crowd here seems to appreciate a good striking match, Mike. But you're doing really well when you're oh, okay. Shit. Well, I didn't know we took that much damage. And I haven't even got rocked. Let's take a look at the well, he's hit me, but... This is that huge shot very near the end of the fight. And here's that punch that hit right on target. Ready to start round three. There's the beautiful. Okay. So what we can do. Third round out of five, but we're pretty damaged, so. And we are set for the start of round three. This is a championship fight, so it is scheduled for five five minute rounds. Nice. Scoring points here. Still not quick enough on that. But I hit him with that. Oh, oh rocked him. In. Here we go. Oh, big shot. He's down. Oh. So we can finish him. It's over. I was waiting to land that. You said third round, so. I love that wheel kick. Try to get an animation here as well where he sits on his knees or lays like there. I quite like that. Oh, I quite like yeah. I'm happy with the one I picked, I suppose I should say. He even fell in the same way as well, which is funny. Look at it from this angle. It wasn't as clean the wheel kick, but it still hit him. Uh yeah. Yeah. There's so many in the game that you can usually find one that fits the fight you're trying to make, which is awesome. Well, if you're making an original cap, find one that you like for the, that fits their personality, I suppose. <laughs> Those cuts are going to hurt for a while. Do you know what occurred to me the other day? Tiago Santos is basically the light heavyweight version of Barboza, except... Well, kind of. I mean, he kicks like a motherfucker. He hits like a motherfucker. He, well, I say he, he's like he's the version, same version. He, ha he reminds me of him, kind of. He just throws with massive power. In UFC 3? No. Also, Bruce Buffet. <laughs> See if they show the... Uh... I don't think they'll show it. Oh, oh, shit, I think I might have missed it. Oh, fuck. That's unfortunate, Kevin. I wonder if they'll show the book here. We'll see. Nah, it's all good, man. <laughs> to the face. Oh, here we go. We'll kick. Bang! Shin to the temple. 
That animation is so clean. Also, this music there. Wow. I think I might have... Uh, I might have given him some real damage there with that punch to the neck. To the throat. Yeah. Chicken legs and all. Well, I think that will do it for today's stream. At least for the Undisputed stream. I might do UFC 3 later, we'll see. Now, I have some Modern Warfare gameplay. I'll look quite a bit of it recorded. I will release that once a day leading into the beta, which I will also be playing. Um, so if you like Call of Duty, you know, maybe give that a, a look if that interests you. Otherwise, it's all good. Um, I might play UFC 3 later. We'll run some cat fights and all that. Um, hope you enjoyed the universe of my stream. It was good fun. And of course, I guess right now, I guess we've spawned a new uh, channel meme with the champ, 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 champ. Um, good old Agato. Anyway, appreciate sure everyone coming by. I will look into the whole. Uh, okay, wait, yeah. I was, I was, I was. Uh, I'll look into the whole uh, channel points. Mister Kreth, how could we forget? Yeah, gonna get back to him soon. Also, I might do a Cunt Johnson career part two soon. Um, because why not? Now the first one's up. Uh, yeah, again, up again. But I will see you uh, maybe later, probably later. We'll see. Yeah. Anyway, hope you have a hope you enjoy the stream, and I hope you have a good day. Uh, thank you all for coming by. Very much appreciate it. Take care, everyone. Bye bye.